Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. Today I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 vs. 1 replay cast. It's another Protoss vs. Zerg, and if you watched one of my uh, last casts that I did, you'll see it's actually the same two players as in the last game. Last cast, uh, Solar took the game, so we're going to see if Patience can bring it back. So spawning up in the top right hand side of the map, the blue Zerg playing for Team Splice. It is Solar. Solar recently picked up by Team Splice, which is pretty cool, as they're a pretty big esports team, and Solar is certainly a great player, so we're going to see how he goes against Patience, the red Protoss, playing for Team Dead Pixel, spawning in the bottom left. So it looks like we've got ourselves a standard Gateway Expand going to be coming out of Patience. Oh well, a bit unstandard as a matter of fact, as he's actually walling on the low ground. Now, normally Protoss... Some Protoss wall on the low ground, some wall on the high ground. Really, I think it's a map preference when it comes down to it. Solar, though, just droning. No spawning pool coming down yet. He's going for a gas, likely to follow the pool, so no crazy three hatch or anything coming out here. As Patience can be a bit of a tricky player, so... Very standard openings from these players right now. Patience going to be getting up that expansion. And uh, if you aren't aware, these two players are Korean players. I guess they had a pause there or something. So anyway, Solar are going to be mining gas. Likely just going to be for link speed as players like to have that. They can always go for run buys and things versus Protoss players. Patience getting up that cybernetic score. So yeah, pretty much standard play out of both of these guys. It's going to be a minute. Patience now getting that second gas. Pretty standard timing for Protoss, so we could be sending that probe in a bit early. Oh no, it's gonna go make something else. There we go. Okay, we now see this. Patience did this in the last game of you were watching too. He loves that pylon block, I guess, lately. So denying Solar's third base, and as a Zerg, it's, it's, you probably just roll your eyes whenever that happens. You're like, oh, because you just don't want to deal with that. It just messes with your entire plan. Solar mining gas with just one drone right now is, uh, I guess he wants to have a bit of gas in case he goes for a lair later on or some other tech. But he, he wants minerals out right now so he can get his economy booming. Stargate on the way for patience, so... That's always something that can get some damage done. Look at this. Patience going for a yet another pylon block. Two lings and a drone working on the pylon. More lings coming down, but he's still denied the third base a significant amount of time and he cancels the pylon too. So for a small investment of 50 minerals, that pays off. Anyway, so Patience could go for something like a Stargate here. He can always go for Oracles or Phoenix. I think Protoss lately have been ten trending more towards going for double oracle and as they just like to get the damage done they like to get the revelation done and now patience could actually potentially try to go into carriers later on in this game as a lot of protoss go for a stargate and they don't necessarily plan for going carriers later on in the game but having a stargate having a couple oracles out is always a massive advantage if you do plan on going towards her at some point Adept for Patience is just shading away, doesn't want to get caught by those lings. He's going to have to run though, and Patience is actually going to send these two Adepts towards the third base, but Solar is such a good player on to him right now, so he's going to chase down these two Adepts. They're going to need to send out their shade. No, two Adepts can certainly shoot off six lings, but a few more are grouping up, but uh, well micro Adepts can take on a large amount of lings here. And that was a bit odd, Solar running his lings behind the minerals, Patience shading his Adepts there. Third base finishing up for Solar here. Oracle moving in though, but there's two queens, so that's gonna fly right in there. Patience needs to pay attention. Losing a bit of health on that Oracle. And these two Adepts for Patience are sort of just stranded out here for now. They don't want to get caught out in the open by these Zergens. So Patience is going for a Phoenix right after this one Oracle, so no double Oracle play out of here. Sort of understandable as great Zergs. The, uh, I mean, Solar already invested in Spores, he's got Queens, and such a great player is rarely going to lose more than a few drones. So unless you want a large amount of these revelations, Phoenix is probably a better investment. Shutting down Vision and can be useful for just other harassment and whatnot. And it does look like it's just going to be one Phoenix out of Patience, not committing to the 3 or 4 or 4 harassment. So he's not investing into this Stargate tech at all, he's getting up to Fly Council now, Forge on the way. 
Patience. Three gates going up to a third base here. So a bit of a risky play from Patience. If Solar was going for some all-in, he could have been in a bit of trouble here. But he's got the Oracle Revelation. He's pretty sure this isn't happening. And now he's seen the fourth base for Solar. Solar, though, pretty much sees everything with these Del Naga watchtowers. So yeah, this game, I'd say, started out a bit rocky for Solar, just a just, well, not rocky, just a bit of a nuisance with that hatchery block. But right now he's just macroing non-stop, producing seven drones, melee on the way, baiting nest, roach warrens, so really he's going for everything that he could possibly want right now. He's got all the vision he needs. Patience is content macroing versus the Protoss, so we're gonna see how this works out here. Oracle's moving in once again. It's possibly going to be able to pick off a drone that's transferring here. Oh, yes, it gets one drone, then gets pushed out. Throwing down uh, Revelation there. We see some Lings harassing the probes at Patience in space, but I don't believe they really got much. I think they might have gotten one or no probes there. I believe none, because that probe died earlier on. Anyway, so we have Solar spreading creep right in the face of Patience now, and now we have the Lings just... Neither of these players are really gearing up for an attack. Solar possibly could be right now, because he's getting centrifugal hooks, he's getting roaches, but I don't believe he has roach speed now, so it's, it would be very slow and painful if he went for an attack. This is likely just defensive units for Solar for now, unless he keeps producing more. He's producing quite a bit here. So it could be some sort of Roach Ravager Ling attack. We actually saw Solar use this sort of style last game. Overseer's gonna get chased down by this one Phoenix. Patience just getting up more and more gateways. Patience had a very late Robo and he's going for a Dark Shrine right now. So wanting to go for some of that DT Archon harassment, but that's very late in the game to be going for this. Anyway, we see Patience moving out a bit risky. Maybe he's just gonna go for an Archon Adept all in here, but no, he's pulling back as those units a few adepts and sentries would be slaughtered by what patience has right now. By what solar has, pardon me. Anyway, plus one does finish for patience, so he has a bit of an upgrade advantage. Solar mainly going for Ling so, so he will sort of be on even upgrades. It's just that the uh, roaches and ravagers are not affected by... I mean, there's like four ravagers, but they, they, the ravagers are not affected by the melee upgrades. But they're corrosive vials are still very strong. Warp Prism is shoot away, has to sit in a corner right now. Patience trying to get some harassment done, but getting nothing. Oracle getting a revelation on a few of the lings. Right now, Solar though, he's just droned up and this is scary for Protoss. He's just let this happen, so he's gotta do something soon, I think. Either that or he's gotta go full turtle mode, throw down a fourth, throw down some later game tech. Right now we see some DPs moving out, I guess, uh, uh, Patience trying to get some damage done there, but nothing too much, really. He actually went for a second Warp Prism. I was confused for a second there. I was wondering, he had a Warp Prism full of adapts. Did he drop them all out and they died? I was just wondering. Nope, he went for two Warp Prisms trying to get double the harassment done. These Archons could possibly be found by these Lings. I mean, the fifth base for Solar is going up. Adepts are getting into the main base of Solar, getting a bit of harassment done here. But he needs to pick those up as they are starting to fall. Lings are just slaughtering these adepts. I guess he's focused more on microing these two Archons. Getting a cancel on that hatchery, though, possibly worth it for the four adepts there. And now he's actually warping in more DTs here. He's gonna pick off the spawning pool as there's nothing for Solar. But right now we see Solar's been producing 11 Mutalisk. He's been throwing down all the attacks. He threw down that Spire a minute or two ago, and now he's just getting out these mutas, and these DTs, like, this is, this is two Archons and DTs, Patience is flying around and work for them, he made double the investment, and now he's likely just gonna lose all these, he saw the Spire, he should be wanting to get out of there right now, as these mutas are popping right now, and this is actually gonna put Patience in a lot of trouble, he's invested in this harassment, he, he's gonna cancel the fifth base once again, but basically all the units out on the map for Patience right now may as well be forfeit, a good immortal count, a good amount of adept. He does have resonating glaives plus two attack, so he's got a decent army behind this. The immortals not necessarily the best of versus these links, but Solar has invested in more roaches. We now see stalkers warping in. 
patient's going to be in, in a bit of a panic to deny these Mutalisk. He's got a cannon on the way. He's going to need more and more cannons on the way as Mutalisk from a Zerg player can get so much harassment done. And it looks like this game might come down to one final fight here as we have. The Solar accidentally detonating a few Banelings on those rocks, by the way, from the scene of things. Anyway, the rocks are going down and supply certainly in Solar's favor. More Archon, well, Archon's morphing for Patience. He's got a good good amount of energy on his sentries, but these mutas are just going to move in. The Blink Stalkers for Patience are down, are up in his main base. Great force fields, Photon Overcharge is going down, the Immortals are trying to hold, but they're right in the front, they're taking a lot of damage from these links. DTs are in the frame, there's no overs here, so it seems that Patience might be able to hold and push this back eventually. So Patience actually taking a great fight, they're both the Archons stay alive, two Immortals weak, so great. His units managed to survive very well. Great defense from Patience there. However, now Solar's going into the main base with those mutas, but that one cannon's actually going to be a lifesaver. However... This Ford might get picked off, that's plus three attack, that's very critical, there's no blink, so these Stalkers are, aren't going to be able to, actually there is blink, pardon me, the Stalkers are going to be able to shoo that away and save that critical Forge right now. It looks like Solar is going to be gearing up for another attack, 43 Banelings on the way, but all the sentries went down for patience, so he's not going to have any sentries to stop these Banelings, he's got a good immortal count, he's got Archons, so he can absorb a decent amount, but that is 43 Banelings with plus two attack, so the amount of damage they do is absurd here. And now we see Solar moving in for an attack here. That last hold was good for Patience, but will he be able to repeat it? The Banelings rolling in is basically just Banelings rolling in. That's really all there is to it. So many Banelings rolling in, crashing in on all these Archons. Both on overcharges. Banelings making their way into the probe line here. An Oracle comes in, but the Mutas are going to clean it up. The Blink Stalkers are still alive and kicking, but they seem they're all going to go down. Cannon in the fight. Mothership Core trying to do anything it can. Patience might be able to hold on here. It's going to be very tough, but there is 50 Lings reinforcing for Solar. There's two Overseers in the mix. The Phoenix is picking away at the Overseers, so DPs could potentially be warped in a bit if he manages to get that. But Patience blinks forward. That was a bit of a risky link here. The Lings are collapsing in on top of this army right now. We see the Phoenix is going to pick up these Overseers. Well, one of them right now. These are certainly not dying quickly. Mass... Uh, chain things moving in for solar right now things are looking pretty rough for patience so he's warping three dbs and he's gonna go try to get a kill on the third base or possibly mass drone damage patience still at 70 probes so both these players have been an absurd amount of workers patience morphing and archons the best thing you can have versus banelings is protoss pretty much the Stalkers trying to get anything they can, they need to warp back the three Archons, so I'm not sure if they're going to be able to hold on. Archons are amazing versus Lings, but if these Banelings and Ravagers get them, there's also been an increasing Ravager can. The Nexus is weak as well, so he could always lose that. Banelings connecting great with the Stalkers. These upgraded Lings and Banelings look like it's just been too much for Solar. The DTs were over-harassing the fifth base, but it didn't matter. GG, well played. As Solar takes the second cast in a row between these two players, Almost a great hold by Patience, though he certainly put up a good fight. He possibly could have done with more sentries there after that first fight, and that could have been very critical. Yes, the Ravagers could have corrosive bowed them down, but this force fields could have stopped the attack f for a second there. And maybe Patience needed to have tech to something like Storm, as both these players had a massive economy, so there was always the potential to. But ultimately, Solar just had an attack path. He went for it. He made it work. Patience committed a lot to harassment that didn't necessarily pay off in this game. So regardless, if you guys enjoyed this cast, feel free to feel free to leave a like if you or a comment. If you have any casting feedback, feel free to let me know as I'm always trying to improve on my casting. Regardless, I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.